All right then, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Adam Donegan YouTube channel. I make videos about all sorts of things, include, well, mostly about self-improvement. And I talk a lot about anxiety, guys. And today, guys, I want to talk about uh, the link between anxiety and spirituality. Now, guys, if you watch this channel, you would uh, find out that, yes, I am Christian. I go to church. Um, I grew up in a Christian home uh, and things. And when it comes to my mental health. Uh, I turned to the church, of course. I, I, I turned to many things. Um, and I also turned to the church. And what I felt, what I have found helpful, guys, is even if it's not a church, even if it's um, maybe a club you can go to, not not not, not equating a church to a club. Uh, what I'm talking in regards to, guys, is just being in a fellowship with people, to having people there to guide you, to help you. And I have pastors I speak to. I have a mentor, a, a mentor. Uh, he's an older gentleman uh, that I speak to a couple, um, you know, sometimes a couple of times a week, or you know, it's more like on a on a weekly basis. And he he he's amazing. He encourages me. Uh, he's been, you know, if not on the same journey of uh, mental health issues uh, in regarding anxiety and stuff, and he he's gone through it and he helps me out. And it's just amazing to obviously have that perspective from. Uh, an older person who's obviously gone through it and I can learn from their mistakes and they can obviously guide me guys and that is extremely helpful guys if you can find someone you know obviously if it's not in the church if it's somewhere else if it's just a you know some a friend a person in the community that can help guide you I think that's just integral and it's, it's just amazing but what I will say guys is something that's quite I would say unconventional and something that I have found um I just want to obviously a disclaimer I want to be so compassionate and respectful to the people obviously who've helped me but there was there is a, a sort of a side of you know spirituality uh of you know uh you know in connection to mental health issues i don't think over spiritualizing or even just spiritualizing mental health issues for that matter is helpful um for someone that's going through anxiety this you know to someone who doesn't understand the mechanics of anxiety that is waking up just anxious every single day and is being told to you know just you know to fight on and you know keep obviously i believe in the power of prayer and, and you know worship and being in church and things uh but labeling your anxiety as like you know sort of like the devil is attacking you and, and the devil's like um you know of course i do believe you know if you believe in god you you know you will believe in a, uh, a dark side as well but for someone that's going through that i i think that will just perpetuate and make them overthink even more uh to think that you know satan is attacking them uh and stuff even though it's just simply their nervous system dysregulated and it's 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 overtired and it is detecting threats that are not even there guys my solution to this guys i, I watch a, a lot of channels guys uh, on anxiety day anxiety is incredible just type in day on youtube and claire weeks and she talks about, you know, well, a lot of people in the anxiety space talk about demystifying anxiety instead of labeling your anxiety as, you know, something bad, as, as if the devil is attacking you. Instead, demystify it, read into the mechanics of anxiety, read in, in into how the stress response work, uh, the stress response works, read into how the nervous system works. This is all a nervous system sensitization issue. This is not some, you know, I... <laughs> Maybe it is true for, for obviously Christians that, that believe it. And, you know, in that terms, I do believe it as well. But for someone that's going through it, I believe that's one of the most unhelpful things. Um, I just want to say that so lovingly to people out there who obviously use that technique because, I, you know, it, it might have worked for them, but it certainly has worked, worked for me. And I don't think it works for a lot of other people. Guys, I want to sort of segue onto thoughts. Now, OCD is something that is uh, interesting. Um, before I really educate myself onto the mechanics of anxiety and how it really works, uh, I was actually having anxiety with thoughts. I was having these thoughts. Um, I'm not going to go with, you know, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't crazy messed up thoughts. Obviously, from time to time, we're going to think very bizarre thoughts. Um, but what I don't like, guys, is the, um, you know, Labeling your thoughts as either good or bad is a recipe for disaster, in my experience, in my opinion. Thoughts are not either good or bad, guys. They're just thoughts. And there's a good saying, guys. What we resist persists. If you resist a thought, it will simply come back even, even more. Because you are labeling that thought as a danger and your nervous system will catch on to that. Okay, guys? And it will appear even, even more, guys. Okay? And once I... 
you know, fully allowed and, ex and accepted. For that time, guys, I wasn't even focusing on allowing and accepting. I was just focusing on not resisting any of the anxiety symptoms. And when I, once I was let, I, once I was allowing the thoughts to just, you know, Kim come in and out, you know, just wash over me, and that goes for every other single anxiety symptom and under the sun. It comes in and it goes out. It comes in and, and it goes out. And because you were not labeling that symptom as a bad thing, as a danger, then these symptoms will just get less and less and less over time. And um, you are on your journey of anxiety recovery. And it's truly an incredible journey to go on. And uh, that, that, you know, I believe that is the answer, guys. Of course, you know, we, I'll probably talk about this in another video, another video. I've talked about my faith. I've talked about my beliefs and stuff. But I do not think it is helpful when it comes, when, when, you know, re regarding anxiety. Um, I will say, guys, obviously, I believe God can, you know, comfort you in your anxious discomfort. You know, Philippians 4 verse 6, you know, be anxious for nothing. But by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, present your request to God, guys. So pray to God to not take your anxiety away, but to give you peace. To give you peace in the midst of the storm. To give you peace in the midst of the anxiety, guys. What I a, a massive mistake that I was doing before, guys. I was trying. I was praying the, the anxiety away. <laughs> I was praying it away, and that doesn't work, guys. Uh, that 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 doesn't work. And I believe this is something that you know some people some people will go through um, anxiety issues and stuff. And it 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 teaches us a lot of value, valuable lessons, guys. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's, that's all i got to say. I'm just going in circles on myself now. But guys, if you have found this video meaningful, um, yeah. So guys, if you have found this video good and uh, if you have found it, you know, if, if you've, I, I can't even speak. If you found, if you've enjoyed it, guys, please comment, like, and share and subscribe uh, to the Adam Donegan channel if you're new here. And I'll see you guys all in my next one. Peace out.